If you like the first set of liveries, then you're going to love the almost 20 free liveries I have for you today. Keep hitting that like and subscribe button because I'm redefining what liveries should be in emergency response Liberty County. As before, remember that all asset IDs will be shown briefly on the screen and will also be listed in the description below. Feel free to share this video with friends, admins, mods, and anyone else that might benefit from the use of these liveries. Watch to the end because you don't want to miss the design you're after, and I'm sorry, I don't know how to create timestamps. I'll share with you my favorite three designs at the end of the video, but other than that, here we go. Enjoy, zanies! If I didn't mention it, all of these vehicles are based on requests I received in the comments below. It wasn't intentional. I didn't mean to miss anyone but i won't be doing this again so if you got your request in congratulations this right here comes from our boys down in australia i think i got the first vehicle wrong but i'm pretty sure i hit it in the head here so here you go australia Remember that Chicago Durango that wouldn't populate in the first video? Well, I finally got it to approve in this video and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm really glad this finally came to pass because it turned out to look so sharp out in Liberty County. This was probably one of the more requested vehicles in the comments, and I'm not quite sure why, but everyone wanted Federal Protective Services, everyone wanted some kind of Homeland Security vehicle, so here you go. They actually have an Explorer, but I felt there was already too many Explorers in the game, on top of too many white vehicles, but here you go boys, Federal Protective Services. This one here comes from Singapore. I couldn't find a vehicle that matched closely to what they have, which is something close to a Caprice, so I give them a Mustang instead. And here's a little zany trivia for you. I've actually been to Singapore, and let me just tell you, the police are extremely strict there. Be careful if you ever go there. This one here is for our boys and girls in Arkansas. Very simplistic design, but very sharp looking nonetheless. Enjoy. I saw this one in the comments and this one comes to us from Illinois. Although it's a very simple design, there's something about this layout that just absolutely pulls me in. It's a great design on a classic car. Another pretty common request was a US Park Ranger. They also have a white truck. And at this point, I really was just tired of all the white police vehicles. So I gave it this kind of white grayish color instead. In retrospect, I'm not sure that I would have made this into a livery, but someone requested UPS in the comments, and I thought, why not? So instead of UPS, because I don't want to infringe on anyone, I made it RBX. So Roblox Worldwide Delivery Services. This one's for our boys and girls across the pond. It didn't necessarily populate the way I wanted it to, but it still looks sharp if you're not looking for details. And if you are, I'm sorry, I completely messed it up. Thank you. 
This was an interesting request that is somewhat of a branch off of Law Enforcement, Texas Game Warden. This turned out a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. A very simple design, but if you look at the details, you'll start to appreciate this vehicle. I absolutely love the way this vehicle turned out. Another rather straightforward design out of Utah, once again with the white police vehicles, but hey, what can you do? Simple design, very straightforward, took me about two minutes to make, so here you go, whoever requested Utah, you're welcome. This one, I'm not quite sure how to say, is that Gerda, Garda? But whoever requested it, it's another very straightforward design. This was probably one of the more intricate designs I made just because there's so many stripes and so many layers to this. You probably can't see it on yet again another white vehicle, but there is a lot of colors in this vehicle. So this one was probably one of the ones that took me a little longer to make, but at the end of everything, I am really satisfied with the way it turned out. And should you want to change the base color of any of these vehicles, you should be able to in the color modifier menu. Ah, the Texas Highway Vehicle. This vehicle almost did not even make the video just because the way it came out is completely the opposite of how I wanted. Once you start looking closely at the details, you'll start to see how all the lines are basically messed up, none of the panels match up, and some of the letters are a little bit distorted. But if you're satisfied with using it the way it is, here you go. Wisconsin, another one of my favorite states that I've been to. Very refreshing to finally see a vehicle, not in white. Absolutely amazing layout, great color, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful with the red and blue light shining. More often than not, when I try to play in a private server and I'm scrolling through the server list, I see military-based RPs, so I decided to create a vehicle for every single branch. Here's the Air Force. And here's the Navy. Here's the army, and by the way, in case you're wondering, every single one of these patterns is based on the camouflage uniform that every single branch uses. I'm not quite sure what they call them, I think maybe they're called like battle dress uniforms or something like that, but whatever they're called, that's what they're based off of. I did google it, so I'm 99.9% .9 sure I have all the correct patterns for all the branches. And here's the Marine Corps one.
And last but not least, the most requested vehicle in the comments. Everyone wanted me to make a staff or a moderator vehicle, and I really like the Federal Protective Services vehicle. So what I decided to do was simply invert the colors and make a moderator vehicle and add the shield to it that basically says staff. And if you look in the back, you'll see that it says, except from roleplay, that should be able to help you cruise the server while being easily identified by everyone else. All right, Zany, so for this patch of liveries, my favorite three vehicles are number one, the Texas Game Warden vehicle. There's something about this color and the way the decals ended up rendering that just absolutely give this truck a stunning look. So for that reason, this is definitely among my top three. For my second favorite vehicle, I think I sort of gave it away already, but the Department of Homeland Security or the Federal Protective Services vehicle is among my favorites as well. I know the design is very, very simple, but there are some very fine details if you start looking at it very closely. And I gotta give it to you guys. This vehicle is gorgeous. I can see why it was requested. If not for roleplay, then just for the sake of having a good looking livery to cruise around in. And my last favorite vehicle in my top three comes from Romania. I know you probably can't see the detail or the fine work in this decal, but believe me when I tell you, this one positively took me more than 10 minutes to make, but once it was all said and done, it came out looking a whole lot better than I was expecting. So whoever's in Romania and got the request in, I hope you appreciate the effort. Let me know what your favorite is down in the comments below. Please continue hitting that subscribe button we are so close to 20,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 don't forget to hit that like button and share this with a few people as well and although i said this is the last batch of liveries why don't you also leave me a request down in the comments below you never know when your boy zany might surprise you all right you guys until next time long live the zanies